Now, one aspect we need to consider about amines is that as functional groups, they will be sensitive to oxidation reactions. So typically, if we want to add um, an amine to a benzene ring, we do it by making the nitro group and then reducing the nitro group to give us back the amine. So if we're working with something like alcohols on our benzene rings and we don't want to incur oxidation of the amine group as well as the other oxidation of other functional groups, there is a way we can create a protecting group for the amines. So for your aniline derivatives, If we react the amine with something like a, th a thionyl chloride, so something like CH3COCl, or we do something like an acetic anhydride, this will allow us to underdo, undergo a basically substitution reaction, which will end up producing the amine. So underneath acidic conditions, this is actually stable. So what we can do in this case is that this will make the amine group unreactive under any typical reaction conditions. So this here will serve as a protecting group. And the way we remove this protecting group is we simply run this under basic conditions. So under hydroxide and something like ethanol, we'll end up recovering the aniline and the carboxylic acid So if we are running reactions of amines, and specifically amines attached to benzenes, or pretty much amines in general, and we want to serve as a protecting group, the easiest way we can do this is form the amide functional group um, functionality. And under acidic conditions, this is going to be stable. It will protect the nitrogen from some things like oxidation reduction reactions. And when we're re ready to recover that amine back, all we have to do is react the compound under basic conditions.